What's going on guys, it's Hijack. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition on PC. Before we begin, I just wanna quickly mention that this is a remake of a video I made nearly three years ago, which was unfortunately taken down due to a... Hmm, how would I describe this character? Uh, anyway. This is a rough guess of what the person probably looked like when they were reporting my video. I just want to clarify that I actually don't know if someone reported it, but I'm pretty confident about it. Simply because the video had been up for two years. And then out of nowhere, one day I get a comment from someone saying piracy question mark. And then not long after that, the video was taken down. But on the positive side of things, I can make a better video than the one from before. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is get the game file. You can do this by downloading the game on an ancient Xbox 360 if you somehow still have one that is functioning and isn't broken or has a red ring of death. And you also managed to buy the game before the Xbox 360 marketplace got shut down on July 29, 2024. Realistically, most of the people watching this did buy the game back in the day and are here for nostalgic reasons, but I know 99% of you are going to be sailing the high seas simply because it is way easier. But this time, I'm not going to give the game file or show you how to find it online because I don't want what happened last time to happen again. I will say this though, it is extremely easy to find. By the way, I just want to say that archive.org and the Minecraft Wiki are both very resourceful websites for finding information about Minecraft. They even have title update downloads, which is not considered stealing because they are free and updates are available for archival purposes. If I have one recommendation for you, it's that you should all check out the title update zero page because it has some pretty cool facts about when the game first came out. The next thing you're going to want to do is download Xenia, which is an Xbox 360 emulator. It basically lets you play Xbox 360 games on your PC. Now there are several different versions which you can pick from. The best one is Xenia Canary. There's also a more user-friendly version called Xenia Manager, which is designed for less tech-savvy people. In my opinion, I prefer the normal Xenia Canary, but for the sake of everyone, I will just show you how to use both. So starting off with Xenia Canary, the first thing you're going to want to do is extract the zip folder. Once you do that, you're going to want to go inside the folder and you'll have these two things. You want to double click the EXE. As you can see, it'll add some more stuff once you do that. And you can also create a profile. This is used for basically saving your worlds. Now to launch Minecraft, you're going to want to go to open and locate your game file wherever it is on your computer and open it. Now as you can see, it'll start loading the game. but it'll only load in the trial version for the first time that you open Xenia. Here you can see, unlock full game. So what you want to do is you want to close Xenia, go to the Xenia Canary config.toml. You probably won't see the .toml because most people don't have file extensions checked. But what you want to do is you want to open the config file, scroll down to license mask, and just change it to zero to a one, and then save it. Now, when you launch the game, you can relaunch it by going to open recent, by the way, or just pressing the F9 key on your keyboard. Now, as you can see, it is a full game and no longer has the message to unlock the full game. Now, obviously, you will need a controller to play this. Uh, the mouse and keyboard version of Xenia does not work, unfortunately. But if you do find a way, let me know in the comments. When you press A on play game, it will have a pop-up like this, and you can only press either of these options with your mouse, which is kind of annoying, but the newer versions of Minecraft Xbox 360 do change this. So it's not an Xbox pop-up, it is an in-game pop-up. So you will not have to use your mouse in like the newer versions. Obviously you're gonna press continue playing offline because there is no Xbox Live on this emulator currently. And you can play the game on this version, which is the base version, which is title update zero, obviously. Now, if you want to change your title update, you go to file and then install content. I'm going to go here to my title updates folder. I have two and you just, I, it's not going to be named this. It's going to be named, it's going to be named something random and you might just want to rename it once you download it. 
and like I did here, I renamed mine a title update 16. I'll show you where to get it in a minute, but you just press it. It'll install it, as you can see right here. You can just close this, and it'll only change once you restart it. As you can see, the background is different because we are on the title update that I selected. I will give a link to this text document in the description, but what you want to do is open this and we'll give you a link to all of the title updates. And the reason I did each one individually is because when you go to the website, for example, here's the main directory for the website. If you go to TU18, for example, you'll see you have to click another folder and then another folder and then here's your title update. But if I just go to the full path like this, it'll bring me directly to the file of the title update. And here you can see, this is what I was talking about before. It says TU, a bunch of zeros, and yeah, you just want to change it so you don't get confused because most of them are named this exact same thing. Now, if you want to add DLC, you also go to install content, just like for the title updates, and you just select the DLC that you want. Also, if you pick a DLC that is a higher title update than the one you're currently playing on, it may crash your game because of incompatibilities. Once you do all the packs you want, you'll see that it says success, and you can now start up your game. You may actually notice that it does take a second to load packs, no matter how fast your PC is. Now, for the sake of this explanation, I made a little test world here. It's just a tutorial. If you want to delete a world or delete a DLC or a title update, you go to this directory right here, you go to content, and this is where most of the stuff is saved. But what you can do is you can go to this text document, which I made, and it will tell you where the things are located. So for title updates, it's zeros, and then, which is actually the game ID for Minecraft, so you might want to remember that, and then it's 0B0. So we'll go to that. It's actually pretty easy to figure it out because there is not many folders in here. Okay, we found it, 0B0. And it's even named what I named my files, so that's good. Now all you have to do is just delete it, and you will be back to title update 0 in Xenia. If you want to delete DLC, you can see it's 0, 2, so it's this folder right here. Yep, you can you can even see them because I, I labeled them. Usually if you didn't have it labeled, it'll be whatever it was named before, but this makes it much easier to tell. So you can just delete the things you don't want anymore, and they'll be gone. Now for the last one, for your worlds, this is saved in a different location. It's a, you have to go back to the top folder, and whatever your profile ID is, it's just usually something random like this. You want to click that one because you can actually have multiple profiles. So I'm gonna show you profile, show profile menu, create profile, test one. See now I have two, and they're two different X UIDs. And if I go to the content folder, so now we have these two, and basically if you go into it, you can see the stuff in that profile. This one is the test account, obviously, because there's nothing in here. But if we go back to the top directory, this one must be mine because, as we can see, there's the Minecraft ID. You go into it, 01, that must be the world folder. And here you can see the save.bin. And for those who have been doing this a long time, you know that .bin is usually a world file, although it is in a folder format and it contains the save game. And also, Xenia doesn't seem to be able to save thumbnails for your worlds. So most of your worlds will probably be just a black square. This one, save info, you don't want to touch this. I don't even really know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's just for your profile and it's not an actual world. Okay, that is it for Xenia Canary. Next, we're going to be doing Xenia Manager. Obviously, you're going to want to extract it. Okay, once you do that, you're going to want to open it. Then you're going to want to double click desktop app. Once you do that, it'll open everything up and you'll have these three options, Xenia Canary, Mouse Hook, and Netplay. You're probably gonna wanna just do Canary. These are all forks of Canary though, but you're not really gonna be using this unless you uh, find a very technical video of how to use like Netplay and uh, Mouse Hook doesn't even work, so I wouldn't bother. So I'm just gonna do Xenia Canary and you might get this pop-up where you have to create a profile. So it's gonna open it and it's gonna ask you. So I'm just gonna put my name and then you can just close it and it will say Xenia Canary installed. So you'll see 100%, you can just close this out. And this is a UI that is supposed to be easier. Now to add Minecraft, you're gonna wanna go to this plus sign right here and just select your game file. It's gonna immediately open it and then close. 
and it's going to show you this and you're going to want to press it because I think it needs to confirm which game it is. So you click it and it will be added to your library here. And if you just press it, it should launch. As you can see, it launched. It's not full game, so we'll show you how to do that. Now, instead of going to the config file, which is in here, you're going to want to go to the Xenia settings right here. And then you're going to want to make sure your game is selected. If you have multiple games, make sure you're selecting Minecraft. And then you're going to want to scroll down till you find license mask. And as you can see, no licenses. You just do first license. That's basically one. And you're going to want to save it by pressing this button right here. And it'll say settings have been saved. Now, I do want to say that when I was using this before, you might forget to save it and that's why I just think it's a little bit annoying because every time you change something, you have to press this and you might forget. Anyway, that's what happened to me, but uh, there's actually a couple other things in here you might be interested in. You could do show achievement notifications, which basically means if you get an achievement, it'll actually pop up on your screen if you want. But there's also internal display resolution. I would not mess with this because you don't really notice anything different and I actually heard it might be unstable if you change it to like 1080p but um, yeah just do what you want with that and uh, make sure you save it when you change something. Now when you launch the game, that's weird to actually change the size of the box. Oh yeah I think that's because I put it to 1080p but yeah also I forgot to say if you want full screen you just do F11 or you can double click the screen and it will do full screen. This actually looks lower resolution, surprisingly. Maybe it's just something to do with the base version of the game. Now, before I show you how to install title updates, I want to say that Xenia Manager actually has a feature that I like and the normal Xenia Canary does not have, which is basically you can make a shortcut on your desktop, which appears on your desktop right here, as you can see. Now, if I close Xenia Manager and I double click it, it will launch directly into Minecraft. So that's cool if you want that. Otherwise, you'll have to relaunch Xenia from either the taskbar, if you pinned it there, or on the desktop app right here in the folder. Now, for installing content, it's a little bit weird. You go to content and then install DLC slash updates, and you'll go here to select what you want. I believe you can just press, so I'll select title update 20. It'll say Minecraft title update installer. Then you press confirm. It'll say installed, and I guess it'll be installed. Now, if I go back to it, I want to do a skin pack. We'll add these. You can see all of them listed here. Confirm. Now, honestly, I don't really like this, the way that you have to go here and like select this like this, because it is a little bit confusing, and I feel like it adds extra steps. So what you can do is you can actually just launch the game and do install content the normal way, and this works. But it might be a little bit better for deleting your content. So when you go to view install content, you can go here and you can just delete stuff or you can do it the other way where you go into the folder, you find the exact pathing. But again, that can be a little bit more work just going through all of the folders than just going into Xenia Manager installed content section. Now that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to it. Um, I showed you how to add stuff, how to delete stuff, how to launch the game, how to make a shortcut, and you can now just play the game. I do believe if you want, you can do net play, but I am not 100% sure on how that works. I could make a video, maybe I will, showing how to do it, um, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helps some of you out.